Dr. Hunter has found something in Judy's records that could have helped her to put on a brave face. Looking at numerous news reports and testimonies from people who knew Judy, it's clear that she, over a long period of time, used multiple prescription medications. The most significant of these is amphetamine, also known as speed, uppers, pet pills. It's a synthetic stimulant. They increase breathing and heart rate, and the users tend to feel more alert, energetic, and confident. Was this a long-term addiction, or was this some sort of short-term fix? At MGM, Judy made around 30 feature films, sometimes working 18-hour days, six days a week. The MGM factory churned out film after film after film, from Easter Parade and Me and My Gal to Meet Me in St. Louis. The studio had a technique to keep their actors working hard. Judy was introduced early on to Benzedrine, which was the amphetamine given to her and Mickey Rooney. As soon as they got to the set, this would perk them up and, and keep them moving. By her late teens, Judy had become addicted to amphetamines. When she was just 19, she collapsed at the studios. Instead of being told to rest, the doctors prescribed her more amphetamines. Prescribing a person amphetamines after they've collapsed from exhaustion is incredibly irresponsible. It can do great harm to the body and push an already fatigued system into working overtime. Her reliance on these pills came to a head when Judy was 26. During the filming of Annie Get Your Gun, she was becoming increasingly erratic. She would either not show up or she would show up and, and not come out of her dressing room for a long time. She kept everybody waiting. All right. The studio fired Judy. After 16 years in the MGM family, she was on her own. Her dependency on pills intensified. I can see that at this point in Judy's life, she wasn't taking just amphetamines. She was using a cocktail of different prescription medications, including tranquilizers and painkillers. Did this mixture of drugs ultimately cause her death? <laughs> 